Bishop Museum of Science and Nature is currently caring for two temporary residents who came to them from Zoo Tampa. The female manatees came to the bishop from Zoo Tampa's Manatee Critical Care Center. Collie was rescued near Naples after being struck by a boat. Viva suffered from symptoms of red tide illness and was rescued in Captiva. They're almost completely recovered, but they are gaining weight and learning at the second stage rehabilitation facility. Our role is to help keep our hospitals going, and the hospitals are important because for us too because we just in general want to help manatees. So by freeing up space, hanging on to some animals that, that are recovered but don't have to be released or can't be released immediately. Um, we're freeing up space there, but we're also teaching them some things while they're here. Generally, we get young animals that are a little naive to the wild. Those are the ones that have to stay around a little bit longer before release. They have to gain some weight. Collie and Viva will learn how to bottom feed with lettuce and PVC pipe at the bottom of their habitat. They've joined fellow manatees Felicia and Doskull in the pool. The director of animal care told us this has already been a busy season for manatee rescues, and it's only December. November was um, a little bit colder than I think we expected or manatees expected, and it's uh, it's those those days of longer sustained cold that really affect manatees. You know, in Florida, we're used to one or two days of cold and then it gets warm again and that's why we love it here uh, and that's why manatees like it too. Uh, FWC was rescuing cold stress manatees pretty quickly and, and many of them so uh, yeah it's been pretty busy so we'll, we'll have to see what the rest of the, the winter holds for us in January and February and even into March can be cold in Florida. While the Bishop Museum of Science and Nature is technically at capacity for manatees, I'm told if there was a quote catastrophic event they could hold some animals for a very short term. Edmonds has some manatee advice for folks who will be out on the water for holiday boat parades. We always, we always um, encourage boaters to look out for manatees when you're out there, wear your polarized sunglasses, watch for noses coming up out of the water, taking a breath. Manatees live really shallow. They eat shallow um, and they're all over the place. So uh, slow your boat in those no-wake zones. They're important for manatees. Kali and Viva will be released back into the wild when conditions are right, but for now, you can visit them here at the museum. In Bradenton, Daisy Ruth, 8 on your side.